This old road, how many people drive by every day? Two, three, always in a hurry. There's a saying that people are fond of when they ain't from around this corner of the world. I do love driving through, they say. It's so much nicer than stopping. Now, I ain't superstitious, but what I'm about to tell you is the honest truth. Not too long ago, and for the first time in my life, I said a prayer. And on that very same day, someone stopped. There they are now, Ken, Claudia, Andrew, Rick, Booty, Zach, Matt, and Scrappy, the Como Avenue Jug Band. Now, I don't know where Como Avenue is or if that's where they were coming from or going to. All I know is that right about the time that jug band van was passing my place, their favorite jug became dislodged from its tethers and flew into the ditch. They looked and they looked, but the jug was lost, and no amount of looking was going to get it back. That was just the beginning of their trouble. For some reason, the van wouldn't start. They couldn't figure it out. I like to believe that something else made the van break down like they were meant to stop by my farm. But like I said, I ain't superstitious. The point is that the van was broke and they went looking for help. And that's how the jug band met my good lady wife. Y'all better not be from the bank. Two, one, two, three. The jug band had charm enough to warm even my dear wife's chilly winter mood and soon we'd welcomed them into our little home. Come on in, we told them. We'll look at that van tomorrow. For now, have some dinner. And don't mind the wife, she's a little on edge. We're having some trouble with the bank. What I didn't tell them was that just a few hours earlier, a moment before I got down on my knees to pray, I'd received a letter saying we owed $50,000 and that if we didn't pay, they'd take our farm. But more on that later. For now, a song was in order. Hey, hold on, what do you know? It was a fine evening, but we didn't know at the time what evil was lurking in the barn. Now, Zach, that's the jug player. He was all kinds of miserable after his jug went missing. So the next morning, instead of eating breakfast with the rest of us, he was busy moping in the barn. That's when he discovered a peculiar looking vase hidden in the hay. As jug players are wont to do, he gave the thing a blow. Well, darn if it wasn't about the best sounding jug he'd ever heard, and he'd run off to show the rest of the jug band. Little did they know, that was no ordinary jug. It was an ancient Mayan funereal vase stolen from a museum by the dastardly international vase thief Sir Roderick Von Burgle. Well, when Sir Roderick discovered his stolen vase had been nabbed by the jug band, well, you can imagine he wasn't too happy about it.
close one. Once we were all safe inside, that's when Rick and Andrew, they're the clever ones in the bunch, noticed the newspaper on our kitchen table. Sir Roderick Von Burgle. So that's who's been chasing us. Well, once we knew who this fellow was, the jug band hatched a pretty ingenious trap. And that's how the jug band fooled that ne'er-do-well vase thief and returned that old mine jug to the museum. And here's the best part. With the reward from the museum and the reward for capturing Sir Roderick, we had more than enough money to pay off what we owed to the bank. The farm was saved. God bless you, jug band.